Hey, what up everyone? It's 7 Demo 7 Welcome back to my channel. This is the Hobby King Prime Jet. Now, if you're watching this video, you probably watched my last video on the maiden flight of it. And I actually flew this airplane this morning uh, and I had uh, some better results. So just want to go over, over this whole airplane and why I think it does what it does and how maybe we can improve um, what's going on here. So basically this is called a glue and go uh, airplane. It comes all in a flat box. They're all flat panels. As you can see, it's kind of got one of the, it looks almost like one of the profile airplanes. So you glue everything together. I used hot glue. You can use whatever type of glue that you want. It, um, the hot glue tends to accept uh, gluing to this just fine. I haven't had any problems at all. Um, I'm using these Turnigy, um the TGY 1440A uh, servos, and these seems like they're performing pretty well. And I'll get, I'll go over that in just a moment as well after I go over the whole airplane here. Um, I've been using these 1500 um, 4S batteries for the airplane. These seem to keep keep the CG right at about um, 20 millimeters in front of the uh, spar, the main spar here, just the edge of the front spar. Uh, seems like it's pretty okay right there. It looks like you can probably run it forward or backwards from there just a little bit. Now, I had some problems on my uh, maiden flight, and I'll go over that right now. And what I, I think, uh, it came into a couple of different things. Number one, I was using a very aggressive prop. It was a 50-50, um, so a 5-inch prop with a 5-pitch uh, on it. Um, it was pretty aggressive, so every time I would fly, um, the prop was going around this way, so it would torque my airplane to the opposite direction. So, And at that point, I'd get this bit of um, flight characteristic where I had absolutely no control. And uh, so I'm not sure if those two things are tied into each other, but um, it was really, really strange. And I had a couple of times where I had that today as well, even though things, some things were corrected. Torque roll was really, really bad. So uh, this morning I flew and I put on one of these triplops props. This is a, just a 50-40 racecraft uh, three-bladed prop. And I know that when I land, I'm gonna scrape these um, guys, but they're very flexible. So it actually didn't have any problems this morning. So the torque issues pretty much went away, uh, which was nice um, to kind of get rid of one issue. Uh, the other issue is just when this thing gets going really, really fast. Um, I get into the situation where I, I have no control over the airplane for like a second or two. And what I think what's happening is, is I'm trying to fly and I think I'm giving it some, some input here and I think it's going so fast that the air is just pushing down the other half of the, the elevator or elevon. Now when this kit first came in, uh, basically both the elevons just broke off because it's got like a, a 45 degree uh, notch in here and it's basically being held on by the top skin of this uh, wing. So. Um, I basically popped the other one off, which came off just as easily. Make sure you guys don't fly with it without reinforcing these hinges. I used uh, contact cement, which is kind of like foam tack. I put a little on each side. I, I let it sit for about five minutes, and then I stuck it together, and it's got a nice strong hinge. I could probably hold up the whole airplane with um, this hinge. But get back to the flight handling characteristics. So I, I'm figuring as I'm going really fast with the 4S that the air is just kind of is pushing down half of the elevon. That's my guess as to what's happening. The other thing that might be happening is that it might be going so fast that, that the whole airframe might be flexing because this foam is it's it's strong, but it's actually quite flexible, as you guys can see here as well. So, so two things might improve that, and I might do a video on this uh, as I do some improvements to this airplane. I might actually put some carbon fiber strip spars through the elevon here. And I might uh, reinforce the leading edges, maybe all the way through here, uh, and maybe on some other points. It actually has two spars going through. It has this um, this kind of flat spar going through it, and then this round spar. So, in theory, it should actually be quite uh, sturdy. I, I might end up this twisting action might be what's causing the uh, the elon to deflect. So, let's say if I give it up elevator and the whole wing flexes down like here, that could be a problem. So. Now this won't be a problem if you're running 3S. So if you're running 3S, this thing's a really nice cruiser. It's not a speed demon at all. So I really wanted this to be kind of a fast airplane because I have my Hobby King Microjet. Let me just grab that real quick. Multiplex uh, Microjet. And I had this thing going up way over 100 miles an hour. And of course I have a crazy motor on it as well. So this, if you look at it, it's relatively the same size, uh, but I have one of the brush, brushless in-runner motors I just used for uh, EDFs. 
And I've put this thing into the ground quite a few times, as you can see. But I'm actually, um, I'm almost back to um, getting this thing back in the air. I just haven't had any time to give this thing some love and some extra paint here. But this thing is a screamer. I mean, the th nice thing about this is it doesn't have any of that torque roll issue. And I have a feeling it's due to the stiffness of these wings. Like, if I try and flex these wings, they are so solid, they are just not going anywhere. So, um... They don't make this anymore, and I have crashed this and broken it. They don't make this anymore. I have two of them, so uh, these are like my prized possessions. So I will get this um, going uh, as in a future video. It's kind of funny. They have, uh, you had to put your channel in here so you black out um, what was going on. I wanted to put 7 Demo 7, so 7 D7, but if you look at it upside down, it's LOL, so that's pretty funny. <laughs> Um, as you guys probably saw in that first video, I actually stuffed this thing into the ground pretty darn hard with very little uh, effect. All I have is a little tiny bit of a crack right through here, which I didn't even have to replace. Um, and that was it. I mean, it, it really held up well. So uh, one other thing that may have been contributing to the uh, weird uh, flight characteristics of this airplane was when I first plugged this in this morning, this servo was not moving as quickly or fast as it should. Like I was moving the, the elevons up and down and this move, this one was moving really, really slow and then suddenly it just kind of sprang to life and then it started moving the way that it should. So that might be another effect of, of as I, after I was going really fast, um, it, I just didn't have any control for about two seconds. I thought I was gonna crash, but then all of a sudden control came back again. So that could be uh, a side effect of that. So guys, the other thoughts about this airplane is that these canards might be affecting the flight performance because since we have a CG right back over here, as I'm giving my elevator uh, up and down pitch, this canard may be actually preventing that from happening because we now if these were further back possibly it might be less effective. Um, if I can't get uh, some modifications to work, I might actually chop these off and just see how it flies. It, may, it might fly more like, a, like the uh, microjet. So that's it for this uh, Prime Jet. So basically, if you're looking for an inexpensive airplane to fly and it's easy to put together, this thing is really great. I really like it. I think I paid $16 for it. It's a barrel of fun. It's a little hard to fly. I would say it shouldn't be a beginner airplane. I'm definitely an intermediate to expert. There's, uh, it held together really well in a crash, so I, I do like the fact that that happened. Now, uh, like I said, I wouldn't run 4S. I would basically probably keep it at a 3S 1500 uh, milliamp pack to put that in the, um, the, the bay here. Um, I would probably recommend like a 5x4 prop um, or a 6x4 prop. We'll probably keep the, uh, the torque down on the back so it's not over torquing your plane. Now, if you run a stabilizer, it'll definitely help out that situation with the torque roll. I would definitely recommend putting in some carbon spars through here and maybe somehow strengthening this wing here because like I said, what, I think what a lot of the problem was is that I'm going too fast and I basically give it some input and the whole wing I think is just taking out that input that, I, that I'm putting in. So like I said, it's just not a speed demon so if you're buying this, don't buy it for that reason. It's just a lot of fun if you have extra multi-rotor part, parts. This is the Emacs red bottom th uh, 30, 2300 um, kV motor and its size is 2205. Works perfectly for this airplane. I have a 40 amp ESC in here, which is probably overkill. I probably just need like a 30 amp. Uh, but anyway, that is is the Hobby King Prime Jet. Um, it's not great. It's not terrible though. It still is a blast to fly and it actually challenges me quite a bit. So with that note, guys, um, hopefully you enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you later. Bye.